So good morning, everyone. Always a joy to see your beautiful faces on our Monday morning Global Heart Resonance call. And oh, I'm taking a very big breath as I'm in Portland, Oregon, and today's my last day here. And being with this precious little angel baby girl. And um, yeah, so feeling the preciousness of the moment and inviting you into that as we open our call here this morning with Michelle Marie, um, who has brought forth <laughs> this amazing topic, really focusing on the gratitude for the pause. What is that experience? So we're very, all very lucky to have this opportunity and want to welcome everyone to this experience of good of the whole coming forth and stepping into this emergent field that is an intelligent consciousness coming through us as it is consciously moving evolution itself <clears throat> And this morning, before we start, I wanted just to share a little bit about resonance and really tapping into this field together. Again, just inviting you to put yourself on mute. Thank you. That this experience of resonance is a form of communication and information exchange. That's why we're here. And when these two, when, the, when our fields come together and this exchange happens, the systems, the two systems, I'm just going to put you on mute for right now. Thank you. The two systems, <clears throat> or in this case, 10 systems or 12 systems, we're each a living whole organism. continues to impregnate the field itself. And our voices leave this imprint on the energy system, this field, as the field is informing us. We're in this, um, again, I, the best word I could think of is transceivership, right? So it's a, con a constant interaction allowing for us to expand this coherence. So in this circumstance, for those people who are listening, this is not a conversation. We're not having a dialogue together. We're in this beautiful state of awareness as it's coming through that fully uplifts us, raises the vibratory frequency of our consciousness. So today as we go into this call and as we remember that we are in time and space, that we need to, to allow for the field to keep a continu contiguous experience happening, this sort of rotation, this spirillic energy that lifts us up, just as if we're sitting inside this beautiful positive vortex. To really listen for how this expression is weaving itself. So less about our ideas of what we're gonna say ahead of time or a poem, a poem that we love, that we wanna bring in. It's really tracking this feeling, the vibrational field itself, learning to track it as it expands, right? As we embody, as we experience, and then we embody and express this field as it's expanding. So with that, um, looking really forward to today, as we're gonna deepen into this beautiful pause. So let's just take a moment to just take a breath together. 
feeling this movement of energy as we're fully grounded, bringing our all aspects of self here this morning and opening through our crown, expanding this beautiful, our wings, I guess you could say this morning, expanding our wings of attention as we receive this energy, light, and information. And we'll just take a breath in gratitude. For all our beautiful stewards, for our families and friends during this incredible holiday season, and for this sense of harmony and peace and radical love. And with that, I pass the talking feather over to you, Michelle, to open our call. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for that pause. That was nice. And um, as was said, we're going to um, focus on the pause today. And I just want to mention before we start, because once we, I read through this, then we'll, we'll um, go even deeper into the field and connect to that. And we're going to do something a little different today and literally enjoy a pause between each person who speaks. So that way, when someone's speaking, we're going to be able to fully engage in the listening which is part of the pause as well. We have to pause to listen. And then we'll have a silent time where we can process and connect with the field even more deeply with those thoughts and whatever else has been moving in the field. And then um, you'll, hear a, you'll hear a gentle sound, and I'm gonna play it right now. And when you hear that, that means the talking feather is open and floating around for someone to grab it again. And we're going to try that because it's really going to be the um, connecting with ourselves and seeing how we are feeling with the pauses and, and how we're connecting in the field with the pause. And it's literally going to be only 15 seconds between the, for the, that pause. But it'll be surprising what we feel, which each one of us feels for, for that. And so to begin, in the grateful for the pause, for those who maybe didn't have a chance to read it, I'm going to read. I hung from the rung of the very first step as the ladder dangled on the mountainside. I was teetering between incredible courage and total defeat. I looked up and I looked down, I looked from side to side and nothing seemed obvious. With the anxiety mounting, there was no clarity, and how was I going to figure this out? What was I supposed to choose? Wasn't there anybody who could come and rescue me? My mind was spinning in fear clamped on, and in desperation for what seemed insurmountable, I called out, help me. A whisper came, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and pause. In that moment, I listened. I closed my eyes. I took a deep breath and I paused. In the pause, clarity came and reminded me, there is no right or wrong path, but you must choose. When you release the fear of right and wrong, you will remember I am love and you can trust I will always be with you. An immense calm released the fear and I opened my eyes. I realized I was not hanging on the first rung of the ladder from the side of a mountain. I was standing on the ground, safe and secure, with only choices to make. It was my mind that put me on the ladder of fear, and it was love that released it. I was grateful for the pause. So today, let's reflect and practice the value of that pause. You know, can we trust the pause to release our fears and connect us with love and emerge what is needed for our clarity today?
morning, this is Julie. <clears throat> I'm grateful for this pause <clears throat> and kind of chuckling in this pause. As I um, first could barely hear that sound when you played it the first time, I was like, oh, I really got to tune in. And then it kind of occurred to me, oh, yeah, you have to pause, <clears throat> be still, and then you hear it clearly. And I heard it clearly that time. Uh, this topic is really um, speaking deeply to me as um, one who sees the future. I often can see complete pictures I see and I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And when things drop in and they drop in and complete packages, I'm like, yes, this is good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And what I've had to really train myself throughout my life, um, and I'm not very good at it. You can ask many on this call today, is the pause. I've had to literally train myself to remember the pause and allow that awareness to just steep for a while. Because often what's coming is down the road more. And that disconnect can be um, very disorienting sometimes because it feels like, oh yeah, let's get in and go. Here we go. This is what's next. So I will. Um, let that pause sink in a little more. Thank you for this topic and the knowing that that still listen to this still small of my dog barking in the background. That still small voice does speak within that pause and there's a wholeness and there's a beauty and there's all the right timing in that pause. And so I concede. Thank you for this topic and I'm complete. Good morning, this is Henry. I, of recent, have been kind of learning a little about divination courts. And in one of the, the spreads, in one of the drawings, actually, in two of them, I got the slow down card. And um, for me, that relates a lot to the pause and to what Julie was just sharing that kind of a metaphor for that is taking a walk here in Santa Fe in the cold or try to take walks because that helps me to make friends with the cold and not feel separate from it. But I find myself when I'm outside walking faster or keeping a better clip, of course, than I would in the summertime or spring or fall. And then, so, so I have planted that seed of slow down, slow down. And, and I realize that it is a kind of a mindfulness thing, but slowing down in taking moments of mindfulness for me, in some ways, there's too much mind in there that I had a hard time connecting with it. And the idea of slowing down helps me to bring it into my body, to take that pause. And so, it, so it's kind of a beautiful experience. And, and I may look around and smell the roses or smell, you know, just get into my experience and, and the things I would have missed of just racing. So that's part of, of my experience of the pause. And, and it's kind of a beginning exploration. 
And, and when I'm racing, it's almost like I'm trying to, to fill in something. And so in my pauses and in my slowing down, I begin to recognize the wholeness that I am, that I don't need to race to fill to do, but it's a time to also to reflect on that wholeness that is within me rather than trying to race to fill in pieces or something that I feel is missing. So that's part of the pause. It's, it's kind of a return to that wholeness, to that primary wholeness that's within me. So I, I, I feel complete. Hey, Michelle, just letting you know that we can't, if you're doing the bell and if we're listening when to come back on, we can't hear it. So I don't, I don't know. You just, just, just need some a little more clarity on the bell <laughs> or the chimes, actually. So let me just try it again. And if it doesn't work, then we'll just all have to monitor ourselves for the chime. Did everybody hear that this time? Can you hear? Hmm. Interesting. Good morning, everyone. This is June from California. And I was picturing myself on that ladder or hanging on a, a cliff. Um, And really tuning in to what it takes to stay in the flow of what it would um, what would help to keep me safe on that slope from um, taking the wrong step uh, or the wrong movement, and realize that through life, um, oftentimes when I'm um, trying to get something done or I'm not clear. I will say more rather than say less, uh, trying to get understood. And, I, and I'm looking at uh, what is it that I do do when that happens to catch myself. And um, I will look for some piece of beauty in my, uh, wherever it is I am, either my home, outside, or uh, in my office. And I'll reflect on it. Often I'll even pick it up and and hold it for a few moments and just really feel into that piece of beauty to bring myself back into, uh, to, into my own center. And when at home, uh, I'll go out into my yard. Um, that's my pause always at home. It's, it's the place where I can let go of the words and instead be in, in, in the flow of what's happening or, or what it is that's, that's just so and brings me back to my own, my own center again. So this is a wonderful topic to remind me to uh, take that pause and to um, find that place um, 
within myself and within my uh, surroundings that will help me to tune back in and stay totally present both to myself and to what whatever is going going on. So everyone's words are really um, deepening and, and exciting for me. So I, I thank you and pass on the sacred feather. Good morning, everyone. This is Nancy out in California. And I think this is such a gift, the gift of pause, a gift that I needed. And it's, uh, we just finished uh, the eight days of Hanukkah, which is the festival of lights. And I look at this group, I'm looking at many of your pictures now. We are the festival of lights every week in each other's in each other's life. Um, that's a gift too, but the gift of pause. I'm gonna look at that as my greatest gift for Hanukkah this year. Because what I've been noticing as we've been pausing is that I'm breathing. And without the gift of pause, without the pause, I tend to just keep moving without the breathing. And so for me, that's really important, which is to take a breath. And um, I'm going to really focus on this pause out in my world today and practice it uh, because it's a habit. And I think it's going to make me a better communicator, a better listener to remember this gift of pause. So I thank you all, our reunion of These Your Lights, for showing up and giving us all a gift. I am complete. This is Shelley, and um, I just feel sparkly all over from this experience and, and just feeling this vibration um, really expanding my personal energy field and the collective as well. And, and so also inside of that pause, what keeps happening is like just um, the sense of opening to receive, giving the space to receive. God, that is, <laughs> that's totally profound in this moment. <laughs> you know, just that opening to, you know, it is a energetic opening. It allows for the opening to receive, which is what we're all wanting, that sense of connection. And that sense of connection, like I, I realized, like just in listening to who, you know, just being in the en energy of who just spoke, it's almost like this movement of, of energy. And I notice, I can feel more deeply as, as been, has been said, you know, like my body, like that, how is that energy touching me? What is that connection with the person just before me? I'm, I'm actually noticing my sensory perception is uh, much more heightened during that pause. 
And I also just like just tickled because I see this going forward in 2019 is this practice of pause. We are training ourselves. This is a training, a living mystery school of magic that allows in this experience right now um, a, a deeper tactile palatable, palatable presence of that source consciousness within, within each one. It's like we get to just open that, those, that whatever, six to 12 senses. Anyway, I'm really grateful for this pause and I pass the beautiful sacred talking feather. pause. The pause is what I am. The pause is what we are. Everything else is details. The pause is like a screen that the movie is played on. The screen is always there unnoticed because attention is on the movie. But without the screen, there would be no movie. And for me, that pause is, is the eternal. And uh, it's a perpetual pause. <laughs> it is always there. It doesn't really care about the movie. It isn't changed by the movie. The screen is never changed by the movie. So there are sensations and thoughts and feelings, but they just played upon the pause. I don't need to stay in the pause because I wouldn't be here without the pause. Um, We are the pause, and the pause is not personal. The pause awareness is what we are, so it can never not be, and we can never not be connected because it's always there. We can just, you know, we can just get veiled and get involved in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a pretty dramatic movie. It's hard to uh, put, put focus on the screen, but the screen doesn't care. The screen is always there. It is always supporting the movie. It is not judging it. It is not trying to change any part of it. It is not making any of it go away. It's just the pause on which everything is happening. And uh, so gratitude is another name for that pause.
Poland from Boulder, California. Now I feel expanded and sparkling. So what I'm receiving from the field. that I am happening in the past mm -hmm. and in between. Mm -hmm. And when I choose to Sometimes close my eyes and breathe, and sometimes even my eyes are open. Attending, shifting my focus on my body. And the feeling and sensation of the space that I am happening. I am being. I'm becoming. At the same time. It's been a real challenge <coughs> this non doing state for years for me. And um, now sometimes I feel I am. Mm -hmm. I'm too slow that uh, when I speak and I have the pauses in between, uh, people usually respond or they feel that I'm complete and it's like I'm just pausing in between to pick up the rest of it. And I have to say, okay, no, okay, I, I am, I'm not done. Uh, just pausing. Oh. I'm not sure if that comes with a practice, with aging. Hmm. But I found the shortcut, I would say for me, that uh, always shifting to the feeling and sensation of the, the space that I am happening, it takes me right there. I am complete. Mm. Hanging in there, hanging on, letting go. The gift of breathing, noticing what shows up, spaciousness, space in between, 
motion, movement, dance, new connections, firing and wiring, flow, motion, exploration, now, wow, remembering, reinventing, rejuvenating. This is Julie again. The beauty is so palpable in these threads that we're pulling together. The practice of pause is the universal self being and becoming more of the universal self. So I'm listening to the threads. It's like whether we're hanging off a ladder on a cliff or whether we're excited about something coming or whether we're resting in the beauty of creation in the moment, the practice of the pause brings us back into that harmonious resonance, the art of resonance, that picture screen that's always there, that eternal moment of now and our awareness of who we are and who we be is universal. So I pause in this moment with that deeper sense of who we are being and becoming as universal human. This is Deborah. Um, I happen to be running around packing. Just have returned from a water healing trip to Florida, here in Boulder. Now I'm driving to Santa Fe tomorrow. Truth or consequences, Tucson. And so I thought, oh, this is really interesting. I could not put myself on this call today or I could, and I really so appreciate the moment to rest in the field with you all here. So I did. And what it has done for me, <clears throat> excuse me, has caused me to pause in the midst of all this frenetic activity. And it's allowed me to see that that is always available and how the frenetic activity that we create that we think is so important <clears throat> actually is just an illusion despite its demands and that the pause is 
this river running running underneath everything and it's always available to just stop and watch the light upon the water and it's keeping me much calmer in this process here this morning and uh, thank you I am complete It's Nancy. I just wanted to quickly share that as we're going along today and the little chimes come, you know, at first they couldn't come fast enough. And now I'm relaxing into the pause and I keep thinking, wow, I could go two, three, four times more in silence. And it's just an interesting process. I just wanted to share that. It's delightful. Thank you. Kate in South Dakota wants to pick up that uh, talking feather briefly uh, to share my lessons on the pause. Because uh, I've, I've long known that I can't improve on the silence. And, you know, I was a registered nurse most of my life and the measure of, you know, what's a good nurse? Somebody who's efficient and gets her done and I always get it done and, you know, just... And then I kind of got a, a cosmic two by four, if you will, of slow down that I was left paralyzed on one side. So I had to slow down and, um, you know, but I still had that drive that I wanted to do this, get this done. And I met an elder who, uh, you know, just really pointed out to me that you're very good at being a human doing, but you have no idea how to be a human being. Wow. And that really sucked. And so rather than thinking I had to do something, I found that I'm much better not living life by the clock, by that living life by what appears before me and what needs to happen in the moment and being of service in that moment rather than trying to figure things out. Um, so it took me a while to, for my, I mean, 2001 is when I got my big, cosmic two by four and I'm still I think learning to be a human being in every moment um because I was so busy doing we have this you know innate thing inside us that we have to do and if you haven't done that well you know and so when you I'm just kind of reevaluated those measurements of success and the measurements of what you have done Realizing that just as you do allow the just the energies of the moment, if you will, the cosmic energies to guide you, I'm way more productive. Rather, I used to feel like, oh, I got to get this done today. Well, you know, when the timing is right, it'll come off real smooth. And if you force it, it doesn't. And so I'm, I know I don't improve on the silence, so I'm going to go back to the silence and thank you for listening.
This is my feel. I, I feel this is a resting time together. I always have had this desire for kind of pyjama party together, just holding each other, just laying down, being together. It seems this is that ritual pyjama party that I always really desired. So I do appreciate even longer pause in between just to hold each other in the feeling. I feel it very nurturing. Feeding my wholeness. I celebrate this moment. Let's sing with you. Good morning, this is Karen in Costa Rica. Wow, this has been wonderful. The very first call of this Monday that I came on, we had a great deal of pausing. And it felt so good as I waited for things to connect and messages to come through. I really like what was written. It's become a practice for me over the years to take the time to pause and allow the love to come through for clarity. But what I'm being asked to bring forth in that, in what was written was the, the trust, the need to trust that it will always emerge if we give it, take that pause, take that breath, and just know that love will always support us so that we can make clear choices. Bringing, allowing that clarity in these times is so important now. And for love to lead us. Thank you. I'm complete. This is Michelle, and I'm just feeling what's emerging is just bringing in clarity is that we have to choose what we want to fill our pause with. If we think of it all as a pause, I love that that was brought up in here, that if it's all a pause, 
Now, what are we going to fill it with? And to know that we have that choice is just such a beautiful uh, opening of receiving an abundant pause. And for that, I'm really, really grateful. As I'm always trying to figure out how to simplify. Now I just have to remember I can start with a blank pause. <laughs> and what do I want to put in it? So thank you so much. I'm complete. I'm going to pick up the talking feather and uh, invite everyone who has spoken to hold within this pause as a collective and to allow those that haven't shared their experience, their sensory perception their, of this pause to share for the next few minutes. And with that, anyone who hasn't shared, um, please feel free to do so. So everyone's wish came forth for a longer pause. And um, just grateful for the universal intelligence through Michelle that brought this through here today. <clears throat> that this is our way forward. And that to rest and dance in this liminal space of the pause is love, is loving ourselves. And we're just being held in this beautiful, eternal hug of the universe. And in this space, there's no separation. There's only connection and everything that everyone has shared here this morning. So um, with that, let's take a pause. Michelle can <laughs> ring, ring the bell, ring the little chimes, and then when the chimes go off, we can all unmute ourselves and send this vibrational frequency of this practice of pause out.
Yeah. <laughs> 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 